So at the University of Essex, we focus on the object or the performance or the practice. And it is from um, those things that we then move out and look at the context and we think about those things theoretically. So we always return to something, um, there's always something real that we're engaging with. Um, and uh, we teach what we know and what we work on and what we spend our lives thinking about. Um, and it is, I think, because of that that our students get to engage sort of real life in the classroom with cutting edge research and scholarship. And of course we're ranked sixth in the UK in terms of in, in art history departments for research excellence. Um, and I think that all really comes together in the art historical community that we have here at Essex where the students and staff um, were all very kind of approachable and friendly and I think that makes a difference too in the student experience at the University of Essex. University of Essex has been an incredibly rewarding place to pursue my interest in art history. My research that is about experimental art institutions that emerged all over the world around the 90s has been like greatly benefited from the support of the university. They have encouraged me to travel in order to, to develop my research skills as well as support me to participate in national and international conferences. And one of the, uh, one of the reasons that we're so lucky here at uh, the University of Essex is that we have artworks on campus uh, that we can um, use in teaching and in, our, in research, both staff and students. So we have the Essex Cole Collection of Art from Latin America, or Escala, um, which is one of the largest resources of its kind um, here on campus. It's an accredited museum. And we also have a gallery, Art Exchange, which um, has exhibitions of international artists, both historic artists and contemporary artists. And our um, Center for Curatorial Studies students get to do an exhibition there every year, which is always an incredibly exciting prospect. So my experience here at the University of Essex as a master's student in art history has been absolutely fantastic. Uh, I did my undergraduate degree here as well. So at the moment I currently have just found out I've got an internship at the Hayward Gallery. So alongside doing my studies in the department here at Essex, I'll be going off to work in London, uh, doing archival research, things that are totally relevant in the art history world basically. And in my undergraduate as well, I also won a travel prize called the Bishop McKinley Award, which allowed me to travel to Italy and around Europe to visit the paintings that I was going to study for my undergraduate dissertation. Uh, so students leaving the University of Essex with a degree in art history uh, should have a number of transferable skills. The most important of those skills, the ability to look critically. And by that I mean that you can appreciate the visual world, you can appreciate art, but more importantly you can analyze it, you can understand what you're looking at and you can develop arguments. And that's the other thing, the ability to express yourself very clearly in writing and orally. And those skills transfer to a whole host of different careers. Some of them are obvious, like gallery work, museum work, but others you might not think of, like brand management, marketing, advertising, art law, all of those different careers, website design, app design, uh, those careers demand the ability to look critically, understand what you're seeing, and the ability to present those ideas clearly, per persuasively, cogently. And those are the kinds of skills uh, that you develop following a course in art history at the University of Essex.